Okay, um, I walked into Dollar Tree tonight, and uh, as I was walking around, I was just looking at everything like I normally do, and I came across these. I couldn't believe it. 60-watt LED uh, bulbs for, uh, for American House. So now, um, the best price I'd been able to find was $2 a piece over at Walmart. So now at Dollar Tree, these are obviously a dollar a piece. So I've been running around replacing every bulb in my house. I had already been using the 60 watts from Walmart, uh, but this is a surprise. And <laughs> to be quite honest, I'm surprised any of these were still left on the shelf. They had a few cases. I imagine this is gonna be one of the most popular products this year. Um, let's, let's open this thing up. Yeah, I'm really well prepared for this video. Okay. There we go. Here's the bulb. Looks just like uh, most other LED bulbs on the market. The, uh, the cool thing about these, um, oh, you know what? My other ones are plastic, but this almost sounds like glass. Let's, uh, let's give it the test. Is this, is this glass or not? No, that's plastic. Good, that's plastic. And when they go up there, they hardly get hot at all. I mean, you can you can put your finger right on them, and you you barely even feel that they're on. So if you ever want to you ever want to screw around with a millennial, replace all his LED bulbs with incandescents, and I'll be burning his finger off all day long. <laughs> Don't say I said that. Anyway, these are uh, I believe they market these as non-dimmable, and if you know anything about an LED. All LEDs by nature are inherently dim dimmable. Um, you just vary the current and it makes them brighter and darker. So this makes me think that inside of this case is some sort of a, uh, a current limiter or a regulator kind of thing, which would also lead me to believe that it might have the added benefit of not producing any 60-cycle uh, flip flickering as it what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this out to the garage and literally dissect it and see uh, see exactly what is inside of it. Hey, at a dollar a piece, why the heck not? Let's go. All right, good. it took me 15 minutes to find a bulb to plug in so I could shoot this. Now, I have no idea how I'm going to open this. It's just plastic and I'm not really worried about destroying it, so... That's Take two. Definitely cutting through really quick. Turn that a little bit. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. Are we still rolling? Yep, looks like it. when you get that plastic lid off you know now looking at this in in retrospect it was probably easier to uh, do it some other way anyway what you got in there is this really nice this really nice LED ring and some kind of a driver for a dollar now that's that's cool that's cool I definitely need to go down a little further and get into there but let's destroy the other half of it. Now I wonder if I just pry up on that because I'm not really worried about destroying it. Yeah, let's use this, right? 
All right, hang on a second. Let me go get a screwdriver. All right, I'm back. I tried going around the edge, but it feels like something else is holding this in place. So I don't, I don't know if they glued it or not. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to bust more off of the back of the bulb. I'm gonna bu try to bust the base off. Oops. <laughs> Heard that, didn't you? So it's in the vise pretty good now. Ah, there we go. Alright, so the base released, and I don't know if you can see in there, but it's definitely just uh see. I'm trying to get a good shot on that. You can see inside to the power supply. I don't know exactly how it's attached. Uh, maybe it's glued or something. I'll be able to get a better look now. Um, gee, I'm not sure. It just looks like the bulb. It almost looks like it should really just pop out, so I'm not worried about damaging this. Let's, let's just go for it. No idea. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, it just took a little, you just had a pry. So that's all it was. It was just wedged in. Uh, the board was just wedged in. There's like this aluminum material on the inside. I guess it's acting as a, as a heat sink. And then we have something here on the outside, a small circuit, which I'll be honest with you, that doesn't look like anything more than uh, a bridge rectifier and a capacitor. So I'm going to I'm going to put this on I'm going to hook this up to AC and put it on a meter. Um, I'm thinking bridge rectifier and then some sort of uh, current regulator or voltage regulator over here. I'll let you know my findings in a in a minute. Can you I don't know if you can make the part numbers out there. All right, so this uh, this particular one, well, yeah, I still don't know if it's dimmable. All right, I'll get better shots of that in a bit. Okay, uh, looks like we're recording video now. I actually ran out of memory a little while ago. Okay, the circuit is real simple. It's um, This is a half amp bridge rectifier. Uh, it goes through a capacitor. Uh, to rectify it. And then um, it goes through this uh, current limiting chip, which is custom made to drive LEDs. There's only a couple of components on here. The, uh, the bridge rectifier is a an MB10F, that's Mary Beetle 10 Frank. The, uh, the current limiting chip is something called a BP5131D, that's uh, Boy Paul 5131 Daniel. Um, the only documentation I found online was it looked uh, appeared to be written in Chinese, but it's definitely a constant current driver. 
And if you look at the uh, diagram, it shows one external connection to a resistor. Um, if I had to guess, um, I, I think the current, uh, the resistor has something to do with the choice of current that, that IC will limit. So it's real straightforward. It goes directly from line uh, 110, 120 volts uh, through the bridge rectifier, which refresh my memory, 160 volts DC roughly. Uh, goes goes across the uh, capacitor, gets filtered, drives the IC directly. There's, uh, I guess, there's a, a lot of magic going on inside that chip. Uh, it, it, you know, at first guess, it looked like a triac or uh, a MOSFET or something like that, but it's not. It's a little more elaborate than that. Uh, and then it's got a series of 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, oh, gee, it has a number on the board, 16 LEDs in circle. And if you look at the board real close, you can, you can desolder it, um, and I'm sure that you can drive it with whatever other thing you want to drive it with. Um, inside of the bulb itself, it was just pressed into the aluminum case. There was no glue or anything like that used, so grabbing a screwdriver and popping it would have been an, an okay to get it way to get it out. All right, let's. Uh, I'm gonna break this video right here, and then I'm gonna hook it up and light it up. All right, I just have it run straight to the AC, and there it is, and it. it comes on really quick. I, I would almost suspect that there might have been a lag or something like from a you know a switch mode power supply starting up, but there's not. It's it's quite it's quite instant. Meaning if you want to control that or play with it, you might be able to get out of it with just just re using a relay and an Arduino to turn it on and off. You don't need to get particularly fancy. In any case, there it is. <clears throat> Dollar store LED light. Woohoo! Gotta love it. Bye.